your Wi-Fi is now naked and exposed to a whole host of hackers who want nothing more than to get hold of your deepest, darkest secrets. Hi, my name is Paul Gordon of iState.tv, and this is your iTrend of the day. Shocking! WPA2 vulnerability opens Wi-Fi up for hackers. A WPA2 Wi-Fi security vulnerability is exposed through crack. That's right, crack. K-R-A-C-K, not C-R-A-C-K. This is not a drug issue. This is a tech issue. So the vulnerability to such exposure comes through basically a the WPA2 protocol. Uh, the exposure as revealed today, October 16th at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, came through uh, researchers who have revealed a hack that breaks the WPA2 security protocols called crack. That's crack with a K, so don't get excited out there. Or key reinstall reinstallation attacks. So here's more on the hacking vulnerability of the WPA2 protocol by itpro.co.uk. The global security community is reeling from the discovery of a devastating flaw, the WPA2 wireless encryption protocol, which affects virtually every modern Wi-Fi connection. Discovered by KU Leuven researcher Matthew Van Hoef, Van, Van Hoef, the flaw is being referred to as crack. Short, again, that's crack with a K, so don't get excited. Short for key reinstallation attack and involves, brace yourself, exploiting a design flaw in the four-way handshake used by the WPA2 wireless protocol, along with numerous other crypto graphic protocols but the key thing is the WPA too and uh, this is a quote from from this guy Leuven Leuven or uh, Matthew Vanhoff every 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 Wi-Fi device is vulnerable to some variant of our attacks Van Hoof warns it can be exploited to access virtually any information being transmitted over a Wi-Fi connection, including login credentials, photos, financial information, and more. So basically, if you're trading brony pictures with your brony pals, guess what? Uh, somebody might find that information out. <laughs> As the article goes on to explain, crack, crack works like this. When a client device like a laptop or a smartphone wants to join a network, the four-way handshake determines that both the client device and the access point have the correct authentication credentials and generates a unique encryption key that will be used to encrypt all the traffic exchange as part of that connection. Now, this key is installed following the third part of the four-way handshake, but access points and clients allow this third message to be sent and received multiple times in case the first instance is dropped or lost. By detecting and replaying the third part of the four-way handshake, attackers can force the reinstallation of the encryption key, allowing them to access the packets being transmitted. So, again... Your brony picks are are at risk, buddy. Just just watch that if you're a furry and you don't want people to know about it, dude. <laughs> wow. 
people are going to know. They're just going to know. So if you'd like to read more, I want you to be sure to click on the link provided. I'm not sure exactly where it's going to show up on the video yet, but it's going to be somewhere on here. Link provided uh, in this video, as well as a link that will be described, uh, provided in the description and the comment section below. And if you'd like uh, the show or this segment and this channel, especially this channel, then help us out by subscribing to us and hitting that bell next to the description so you know when we're going to, or ne next to the subscription button so you know when we're going to release the next video. And when you're done, don't forget to comment and share this video with your friends. We'll see you tomorrow at the same time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our eye trend of the day. This is Paul Gordon with iState.tv saying, I'll see you the next time I make a video.